Minnesota is seeing its worst air quality since 2023. And while it's expected to pass soon, it could come back again throughout the spring and summer. So here's what to know. Canadian wildfires are putting off smoke that weather patterns can bring down to Midwestern states, including Minnesota. The smoke is causing poor air quality here, which is measured by the Air Quality Index. Also called the AQI, this tells us who is impacted and what to do. The spectrum ranges from healthy to all to unhealthy for sensitive groups, including children, pregnant people, people with lung and heart disease, and goes all the way to unhealthy for everyone. But what does poor air quality actually do to us? The smoke from these fires brings particles so small that when we breathe, they get into our lungs and bloodstream and can cause respiratory issues. Here are some potential symptoms from the CDC, and there are so many that I need to read off the list. Potential symptoms from wildfire exposure include coughing, trouble breathing, wheezing, asthma attacks, stinging eyes, scratchy throat, runny nose, irritated sinuses, headaches, tiredness, chest pain, and fast heartbeat. You can keep up with the AQI near you by checking for alerts from weather apps, from the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency, and from airnow.gov. The best way to protect yourself from unhealthy air is to stay indoors, limit time outside, and reduce exercise outside. Set your car and home air conditioner to recirculate, get an air purifier, and consider wearing a mask. According to the Minnesota Pollution Control Agency, we've had comparable days like this since 2018, 2021, and 2023. In 2023, it was because Canada experienced the worst wildfire season on record. Canada's 2025 season is off to a challenging start, so keep these tips in mind if smoke comes our way again.